So you've probably been hearing a ton of things about AFK Journey, the kind of pseudo sequel to AFK Arena, one of the most popular mobile idol gotchas out there. Kind of more like a turn-based game. This one is very, very similar, has a very similar storyline. It is on the world of Asperia and everything. So it is going to be an interesting game. Now you guys might be wondering, what do you need to know about this? Because you hear some people already playing the game while others are waiting until March 20th. 27th where we're going to talk about all that right here and right now so hopefully you guys enjoy this one hit that subscribe button if you enjoy this let's talk about what you guys need to know about afk journey <laughs> So some of you might have seen that, yes, there's actually a bunch of players actually playing AFK Journey. However, if you are currently playing it, there are a few things you need to know because what we are currently playing is what Lilith Games is dubbing the PTR, kind of like the public test realm now these servers are going to stay if you spent money you have progress on these that is not going anywhere however these servers are going to be i believe even on a completely separate client than the launch of afk journey which is going to be happening on march 27th that is when the official servers launch and all that now if you are playing on these servers be prepared there are going to be a lot of people dipping out of this one they're not going to be hanging around this is going to be somewhat of a testing ground though so if you are interested of seeing features first they will come to this most likely now a lot of you guys are wondering how do i get onto this this current ptr is more of like an invite only content creators a small select few people who were picked from the community not everybody can join this and honestly if i were you i would just wait for launch in my opinion launch like i said is going to be coming on march 27th and there is a way to pre-register for that to get some bonus rewards I'm going to put a link in the description on how to pre-register, but if you do, you will be getting a few different things when the game launches. Now, you'll get Laika, who is uh, pretty much like an epic AoE ranged hero. She's a decent hero. No one's super great, so don't be pre prepared to not be like super amazing. These will be active for a two-month period after it opens. Uh, you'll get 10 invite summons, and then you're also getting 1,000 diamonds, which is getting close to about halfway to another 10. Beyond that, you'll get free clothing because yes, there is actually a lot of cosmetics and emotes in this game for your personal character who doesn't really get involved with the battle. But again, pre-register, it will be out on the 27th and I look forward to it. Now, beyond that, this is a very similar game to what you guys might be used to in a lot of other idle games or especially AFK Arena. Now, you will notice new heroes, but you'll also notice some returning heroes that are just as strong as they were in the original game. Uh, you have some Celestials and Hypogens that are brand new and unseen from AFK Arena. You have some returning heroes that are even in the lower tier and everything if you guys are ever wondering what hero to go for i'll try to put a link up in that top corner if you want to check out our closed beta tier list now that tier list is very much for the early game it's not going to be for every game mode out there because as you guys know there are a ton of game modes in this game and even more that unlock further down the road but again that tier list is going to help you guys decide who the early game heroes are going to be helpful uh to your account who to go for who to save for and of course who to summon for because to kind of segue into that man oh man does this game have one of the coolest summoning animations out there now You'll notice they, they've added a bunch of new updates recently. They've actually reset a lot of people's progress, but they still have the traditional wish list that you guys can see. But you'll notice this is a very fresh game. There's only like three to five heroes, legendary heroes in every single faction. And then beyond that, heroes like Odie here are actually some of the most powerful damage dealers. And they're just the epic quality, or I guess I should say rare and S level. To me, it's always going to be epic and legendary. Simple as that. But they have S tier heroes. They have rare heroes. They have the wish list that you can target, aim for the heroes you want to summon for, uh, which is a really cool feature. They have that in the all recruitment, which, of course, you can recruit for regular diamonds here. Uh, or, of course, with your 
ones that you currently have and you can summon them uh even with the more premium epic invite letters so this one has the guaranteed recruit whereas this one uh it says 60 recruits to get an s level hero this is a little bit different from afk arena i think afk arena into the even this day it's like every 30 you're supposed to get a hero i think uh but this one's pretty cool too because it's guaranteed every 30 and i'll show you guys a little bit of the summoning i'll even turn the audio on for you guys too because uh occasionally it sounds pretty good now the animation looks even better on your phone i'll tell you guys that much there are hero copies that you can get oh they have even changed this this is actually brand new uh it used to look different than this and then you also get acorns acorns are 100 food on your account but let's see what happens right here we have another three uh rare type heroes which Odie is again one of the best out there and you can see more food heroes now this one should give us the guaranteed legendary and you'll get to see the beam right there in the back who are we going to get we are going to get let's let's actually wait and see so we got a couple epics there or i should say rares we have the food heroes yeah 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 let's get on to that legendary because the legendary animations are pretty cool to show off as well Omni acorns can be used in any faction which is cool some of them are specific factions that you get my goodness all right come on next one next one where is that legendary we got to see it. you can always hit the skip button but i kind of want to see it. it must be the very last summon right here on number 30 so oh wait no it already had it in the beginning it didn't even show the animation because we already had it now hmm, hmm, be prepared there are most definitely pop-up packs in this game uh some of them are really good value some of them are less than great value because you guys are probably used to these types of games where there are packages might as well show them to you right now we'll go to the trolley and yes there is an in-game currency which i typically despise in games but this one's not horrible so there's two different currencies the diamonds and then there are these dragon crystals the dragon crystals can only be acquired at least uh mostly uh from direct purchases and then you can turn those into diamonds or you can use them for skins you can use them for certain packs there are stargazes which are called star stellar crystals here too uh there are monthly cards there's the whole shebang that you're used to seeing here and uh there is a vip system i know that's going to turn a lot of people off but that's just part of the afk arena system it is in the afk journey system and it seems to be here to stay now like i said there are the stargazing too in this game however you can't just use diamonds in this one you actually need to collect these stellar crystals you get them from the trolley aka the store but there's even guild stores and things like that that you can buy them from on a daily basis and even full legendary heroes uh hypogen and celestials that you can get just from joining a guild so that kind of segues into my next part join a guild as fast as possible and participate because the guild store to be honest is actually really 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 good being in a guild you can grind up these thirty thousand, which takes i think like a week or so and you can get your first celestial or hypergen hero uh that gives you daily and monthly deals to get more summons to get those uh special summons and this is a really great way so please join a guild and make sure you go through it now as far as game modes go there are quite a few there are the of course the afk rewards that you're going to get just by participating in this system unlocks a bunch of different features in the game and is completely separate from the open world campaign so this just reset even on the ptr because they changed the way the map was they changed the story this is an open world where you can find special chests that have summons diamonds loot all that fun stuff it has waypoints for you guys to activate and move around to and it just has discoverable things right on the map as you run around so you'll run around you can find little hidden treasure chest hidden treasure you might be like well i might want to take a look over here and move this stuff because this might actually unlock something i need and there's a treasure chest over here so it's something really really cool beyond that there are a couple really fun game modes this king croaker uh rotates every single day to a different boss it tells you recommended heroes to use and this is a loot system that has both rewards based on your rank and your overall damage you deal to the bosses every day it resets it is a fun game mode 
arena is what you're used to it is your normal pvp battler it's going to be heavily pay to win just be used to it however honor duel is something very unique and extremely fun probably one of my most fun game modes i played in any game in a very long time this is a draft system type of game uh where you pick your first starting team and an artifact that synergizes potentially with that team there and uh you build a team around it through an afk type system here so you're gonna go through you're gonna buy heroes you're gonna put together your best team possible if you don't like certain heroes or you're not gonna use them on your account at all uh, you can literally just sell them now this is very specific this is only for this game mode specifically you can re-roll you can try to find your faction you want potentially or just continue to buy more and when you go into combat you can also place your heroes in a very cool order there's a whole video on this again i'll try to put a link up in the top corner about honor duel very very awesome i love it arcane labyrinth you guys are probably used to this if you've seen it in afk arena however it is a one-time clear only you don't have to continuously clear it however there are multiple difficulties that give ever increasing rewards so you want to get to it but again it's locked behind the overall power of your account and talking about that let's talk about your heroes very very similar to what we have seen in afk arena you have your resonance heroes all other heroes will be leveled up to the lowest level there is one big difference though you can only go 10 levels higher than your lowest level hero in this game so in afk arena you get a hero like 30 40 levels higher your main damage dealing carry hero that is not the case in this situation now to upgrade heroes there are a few things you do have to do uh, you can level up skills you can level up heroes with additional copies sometimes leveling up heroes don't even need copies uh, but it does take them to higher tiers if you have the copies and sometimes you need to use those acorns you saw from the summoning i'll actually see if i have anybody who needs those acorns uh probably not actually you know if we upgrade you right here this might be a very big help to show it off so we got five more and i think the next one uses those acorns i, I no, i can't remember i haven't really di deep dived in the system just yet but that is something that's going to keep your overall account power level very very neutral beyond that your gearing in this game is actually class specific so you don't have to put a set of gear on individual heroes and it actually tells you what heroes you own fit this type of gear and beyond just getting higher tier gear which is nice you can then also forge your pieces up to higher levels once you equip a higher level item and your heroes reach a specific level in that section there and that's going to power all of these heroes not an individual hero which again makes it much more flexible to use more heroes the last thing to talk about are these artifacts so your hero this is your character that you create in the background and you have artifacts that the hero is going to equip they are going to do different things and they're going to have different results i'll show you guys right here in a quick battle since we haven't really talked about the battle much because the battle system is much different than what you're used to as well you're able to place five heroes on the battlefield here and you can put them in any formation you want you can also change which artifact you have depending on the situation and you'll notice your character is in the background your your hero essentially cast whatever this effect is and that is about all there's an auto battler there's live battle you can manually do it you can put it on auto and yeah there's a ton of different ways to play this but you guys can see it's a hex system which uh does mean that there are some mobility issues on some maps there are things that are in the way there's like stone walls there's some things like you can have a there's like a flamethrower on the battlefield that shoots a specific direction there's all these things that kind of help manipulate the battle and make you decide to choose and put your heroes in a specific order and then there's other ones like this that are just wide open so that is a good kind of overview of the game i'll say there are tons of free loots in the game for logging in uh and a ton of really cool stuff the open world is fun the first few days you're going to be spending a ton of time on it and then eventually less and less time and it'll turn into your normal idle grinding game so i would highly recommend this i'm in 
very excited for it. I've been playing this off and on for about five months now and seeing the progression, the quality of life features have increased, the graphics have increased, everything has increased, and I'm really excited for this game right here. So let me know what you guys think. Again, I'll put up in the top corner uh, early in the video if you guys are interested in checking out the uh, early game tier list. So just keep that in mind. It's very much for the early game, not for late game. So some heroes that are low on the tier list early on, do get stronger in the late game. We'll be talking about that a little bit later. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Hit that subscribe button if you guys are excited for AFK Journey. Please leave a comment down below if you guys enjoy this. And, and let me know your guys' opinions too. If you've tried the game, if you're excited to try it, let's just start a little correspondence because I love talking to my community. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. I'll see you guys next time.